Hi there, good evening. Great to have you with us tonight. Doug Dunbar and the team. Roller coaster weather is nothing new in Texas, and this week kicks off with hail and severe storms. We got th severe thunderstorm warnings and watches in effect. Boxes are flashing this big column of weather that's moving in from the southwest across north Texas. And many of you are sending in videos of hail where you live tonight. First of all, thank you. Helps tell the story. Video from Donna Frizzell in Sanger. Look at that. Falling fast and furious there. Let me go from there to Kenny Hong from Balsora in Wise County. Kenny, thank you for the photo. Photographs. Look at the amount of hail that we're getting here. Some of you out there reporting golf ball sized hail with some of these storms. So let's get right over to the chief. First alert weather, Scott Paget. You know, small hail, one thing, golf ball sized, that's, that's a problem. It is a problem. That's a damaging hail that we've seen fall here in North Texas tonight. I do want to point out that right now in the Metroplex, we do not have any more severe thunderstorm warnings. The storm that was prompting that severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Denton County, also Nicolini County, has dropped well below severe limits. Still Seeing some heavy rain between Aubrey and Oak Point right now, zooming our way in just a little bit more east of the dead area. I'll move the radar down just a bit. So, north of 377, right near Liberty Road, right near Krugerville, that's where we do have some of the heavier rain and maybe some pea sized hail at best. But out towards the west, we still have severe weather that is a developing force, and we have severe thunderstorm warnings, including the Graham area. You're able to see a new severe thunderstorm warning uh, in effect until 10 30 for Jack and Young County, as this storm has the potential again. Uh, of maybe some golf ball sized hail. It is moving very fast off to the east northeast near about 50, 50 miles per hour. So Chico 1031, Bridgeport at 1043, Providence Village also around 1033. Also, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning for Eastland and Stevens counties. You're able to see it's making its way right now through the east and southeast sides there of Stevens County. That's continuing eastward at about 50 miles per hour. So Strawn 1011, Lone Camp 1031, Lipan about about 1043, Millsap about 1051. So widening out the view, we had one complex move through, a uh, couple more developing down towards our west into the southwest. So looking at the first alert future cast, the general flow is going to be from the southwest to the northeast. I do expect to see a little bit more weakening as we get closer towards the midnight and then two o'clock in the morning time frame. A lot of the activity shifting its way to the northeast and also the upper level energy that is really just prompting these severe thunderstorms. Also also shifting east. But the threat is there until 2 o'clock in the morning. That does include the Metroplex for this severe thunderstorm watch. And again, the biggest parameters, maybe some large hail and possibly some damaging wind gusts. After that, Doug, it all changes tomorrow with an Arctic front moving through. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to be talking about maybe rain mixing with freezing rain and or sleet. More on that coming up. We get a